about 11 at night and we was coming home. We saw the flames from across the street. So we just decided to go over and help as much as we could. The, uh, the neighbor, she had come out and she said, they're deaf, they're deaf, you know, kick the door in. And we were like, no, nah, we're not gonna kick the door in. But, you know, we're just gonna keep on pounding on it. And, uh, you know, the, the oldest daughter, I believe it was, answered the door, let us in. It was all kind of fast. The back porch was pretty much engulfed in flames. The front of the house wasn't yet. I'm not exactly how long the fire was there, but I know that's when I was warned when I, when the basketball game was on. I was just sitting, sitting and watching some shows, and then my dad, he ran straight to the back door, and um, I was wondering why he was running. I looked at him, but he was blocking the fire, so I didn't see it again. He went into our bedroom. And I was very scared because I finally saw the fire and I ran straight to my mom's room, but she was asleep. I think right during that time, someone was banging on the door. The first man, he grabbed Timothy and he just took him outside. And then he was, he was getting, he was gathering me and Phoebe and getting us outside too. I could definitely understand he was deaf because he couldn't talk back. I grabbed him and he was trying to tell me his wife and I was listening to him and I was trying to understand him and he pointed at his ring finger. So then I knew he was talking about his wife and we went to the back room and we got her. I woke up from the fire and my husband woke me up first. And then two guys came up and they were jumping at me, telling me to get out, get out. And I'm like, I know. So I was grabbing my purse, trying to run out. And I didn't see my kids. It just happened so fast. I can't remember everything that happened. I talked to Caleb and James together. Um, they. Uh, first of all, we're very relaxed considering what they'd been through. In talking to them about it, it was, it was like they found a wallet on the street and gave it to somebody. Well, of course we would do that. I mean, we saw the fire, we saw the smoke, you know, we tried to get inside. They are a part of the neighborhood. They um, respected their neighbors and they knew there was trouble. You know, I've had a little bit of, a little bit of fire experience before, so it's, de it's definitely a shocking experience to go through it twice. Uh, the first time I was in uh, McPherson, Kansas, uh, I was just happening to be riding down the street and I was with my cousin and uh, she had noticed that there was smoke coming up and you know, it was a guy's house on fire. I ran, jumped over the fence and you know, had a, had a kick in the dude's door <laughs> and you know, we got everybody out, out of that one too. They're kind of like some two men I don't even know saved our lives and they're kind of probably like those heroes on the TV shows. I'm really, really touched by those two, that they would, that they helped save my family. It's really, those two are really, really good role models and really important to us, and I'm blessed that they were there. So they are heroes to us, yeah, definitely. I didn't know them very well. I just knew that they were next door neighbors. We said hi and bye, but they helped us out a lot. My daughter told me that they're the ones that got the kids out first, so it was really nice of them to do that for us. It was nice to see them again. I haven't seen them in a long time, probably two months maybe. They're heroes to us, really. It was just a normal reaction. It was instinct. I'm not a firefighter. I'm not a police officer. I'm not in the military, you know. I feel like them is heroes. I don't think, uh, you know, I'd, I'd get it too big in my head and say I'm a hero, but, you know, if that's what people want to recognize me as, you know, take it as it is. A hero does what everyone thinks they would like to do in a situation, but the hero does it. And just because of um, things in our society, two young African-American men penning at your door, I know they think about how people perceive them. The fact that they put that aside and still did what they did, it's wonderful. We're just really, really, really thankful for those two and their help. Because they saved, they saved people, they saved a family. And we should respect them and be really, really thankful to them and to show other people the way they should be.